Thanks to its combination of adorable animals, absurd mullets, and murders, nobody on the internet can be shocked to hear that Netflix's new docuseries Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness has taken the entire world by storm. This insane yet true story dives into the twists and turns of the drama of the big cat breeding and privately owned zoos. The main character is a self-described gay gun-toting cowboy with a mullet named Joe Exotic, who owns a private zoo with dozens of tigers. His longtime nemesis is a fellow big cat enthusiast, a woman named Carol Baskin. She's a multi-millionaire with a tiger sanctuary in Florida. Some of you watching this video may also know her as a cold-blooded killer. Joe is currently serving a 22-year sentence for allegedly hiring a hitman to kill Carol. But that's only the beginning because this story is full of everything from murder plots to undercover informants to polygames to presidential campaigns to missing persons and so much more. The biggest question on everyone's mind right now is whether or not Tiger King will get a season 2 so they can tie up all the threads left dangling when the credits rolled on the final episode of season 1. But before we go any further, I need to give you a spoiler warning. If you have not seen season 1 of Tiger King yet, then you are in for an absolute treat. Go grab yourself some popcorn, candy, and maybe a soda, then binge watch the whole series. After that, come back and watch this video. However, for the rest of you, let's get right into why Tiger King will not get a second season. Carol Baskin was not happy with the way she was portrayed. It was no surprise to anyone that the most hated character on the show was not happy that she was portrayed in the way she was. Carol Baskin is an American animal rights activist and owner of Big Cat Rescue a non-profit animal sanctuary based near Tampa, Florida. It is no secret that Carol Baskin was made to be the villain of the story. However, if you ask any true fan of the show, they will be quick to let you know that Carol brought this upon herself. She took many despicable actions during the show. She is suspected by many to have killed her husband and fed the remains to her tigers. She even got caught saying, if I were gonna, you know, if someone wanted to kill you, then they would just put sardine oil all over you. This combined with many horrible things made Carol stand out as the worst of them all. And that is truly saying something, in a show that has almost no likable characters, she has gone on the record saying that she wouldn't do another show even if she was painted in a better light. She was quoted saying, over my dead body, when asked if she would consider another season of the show. This being said, Carol Baskin was an integral part of the show for season 1 so her refusing to make a return hurts the chances of Tiger King getting a second season. Tiger King is getting another episode, but at what cost? With the massive amounts of hype that Tiger King has gotten, many people are praying for a second season to tie up loose ends to the following other stories. This leaves people wondering what Netflix has to say. Netflix has spoken and Tiger King is not getting another season. However, an eighth episode is being released in addition to the series, it was officially announced by Netflix that an 8th installment of the hit series is going to be released to the public. The title of the episode is Tiger King and I. While many fans will be overjoyed with this revelation, it also spells disaster. It is nice that another episode is coming out to satisfy our needs to follow the stories of these crazy people. However, it could also mean that there is no second season coming. The reason so many people want another season is to tie up the loose ends that were left by season 1. The introduction of new the introduction of the new episode means that Netflix is given the opportunity to tie up these loose ends, which would defeat the purpose of a second season. For many dedicated Tiger King fans, it's simply not worth getting an extra episode if it means the rest of the story will be cut short. It's a hard trade-off to make, but it seems like Netflix has made up their minds. Maybe if enough people write to Netflix saying that they want another season, then they will listen to the people. Another reason why Tiger King may not get another season is Joe is still in prison. Everyone who has seen season 1 of Tiger King knows the tragic fate of Joe Exotic. For anyone who doesn't know, Joseph Maldado Passage, aka Joe Exotic, is the owner and operator of the Greater Winewood Exotic Animal Park known for its big cats. He operated an online reality TV show that he streamed from his zoo. Over the years, he operated sideshows around the country where he allowed people to pet tiger cubs. Season one shows the rise and fall of Joe as he now faces 22 years in prison. This is the result of his attempted murder of Carol Baskin. He was officially arrested on two counts of murder for hire on September 7th, 2018. This leaves Netflix with a big problem 
With Joe locked up, they would not be able to film him as a part of the continued story. Joe has possibly the most important role in the entire show. For a second season to take place, the directors would have to focus on an entirely different aspect of the story. While this is not totally impossible, it still poses a major challenge for the directors. Netflix is known for often being extremely strict in wanting episodes and footage finished on time. Having to change the course of the entire show would drastically put the creators way behind schedule. The schedule delay may turn Netflix away from the idea of a second season. And the last reason why there probably won't be a season 2 of Tiger King is that season 1 made many people look bad. One thing to consider when filming a documentary is how willing people are to be filmed. In the case of Tiger King Season 1, many of these characters, especially Joe Exotic, were absolutely thrilled to be on camera, even when things were looking bad. However, this is not the case for everyone. The Netflix documentary has become notorious for exposing the bad side of many of its characters. This is not a good quality to have when you want to film people's daily life. Now that the show has been released, many of the characters are just now realizing how bad the show actually makes them look. It is likely that many old and new characters will refuse to be filmed, especially after they saw how it completely destroyed Carol Baskin's career. Some of the smaller characters in this show have been heard saying that they would refuse to do a second season because of the risk involved. They realized that this show could ruin lives if they made mistakes by becoming hated by the audience. Carol Baskin is free from all charges, and yet her career is still much more damaged than Joe Exotic's, even though he's in jail for attempted murder. That is the power that comes with the show and has millions and millions of fans all across the world watching. If the directors are attempting to create another season, they are going to have to find a way to be they are going to have to find a way to get people to be willing on camera when they know their careers are on the line. What are your thoughts on the season 2 of Tiger King? Do you think it will ever get made and released? If so and if not, let us know in the comments down below. And subscribe to Top 10 Owl if you think Carol Baskin did kill her husband.